some transport operations are so humongous and ridiculous that it can be hard to believe that they are, in fact, real. But they are. From hundreds of people cramped on a boat to a whole hotel being moved, here are 15 most epic transport operations in history. Number 15. Hundreds of people cramped on a boat. Getting on public transport can be a tight affair, where the lack of personal space is alarmingly clear for you to see. There's nothing worse than feeling someone's breath on your skin as you're trying to make your way to work for a long day of work. While this is a gross scenario to be stuck in, it could be a lot worse. All you need to do is look at this boat in Bangladesh, where hundreds of people climb on board every day to make your commute seem less awful. The boat looks so overfilled that it's about to capsize any second. It's so bizarrely overcrowded that it might look fake on first glance, but I assure you this is very much real. Despite the cramped space, at least those on board are getting some fresh air from the open sea setting. I would certainly rather get some sea air down my lungs in the morning to truly wake me up than some recycled breath in a crammed train cart. Just as long as it stays afloat, I wouldn't mind using this as a mode of transport. Before we go on, like this video, smash Press the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Hotel Montgomery is moved. When a building is in the way, you would usually just go about destroying the whole thing with a load of dynamite. You wouldn't move the whole building to a more convenient location, would you? Well, that is just what happened in San Jose when an official wanted to preserve the Montgomery Hotel but also needed it shifted to allow for the 13-story, 264-room expansion of the nearby Fairmont San Jose Hotel. The company audacious enough to undertake such a task was the San Jose Redevelopment Agency, which moved the Montgomery 57 meters south at a cool cost of $8.6 million. I didn't even know you could move buildings that big. Imagine you were in one of the rooms and they forgot to clear you out. The moving of this historic hotel is considered the fourth heaviest building ever moved. The entire cost of the move and its renovation tallied up to $25.5 million. They won't be moving buildings too often with that figure, I'm guessing. Number 13. Crawler Transporter NASA must be a pretty cool place to work. Imagine contributing to the exploration and research of space for a living. But before the astronauts can lift off, they must first have their vehicles brought to the launch pad. In steps the crawler transporters, which have been carrying rockets and spacecrafts to the launch pad for more than 50 years at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. To be able to carry rockets to their correct starting position means you obviously can't be on the weak side, and these crawlers are anything but. Incredibly, each of them is the size of a baseball infield and are capable of moving almost anything you put it up against. Built in 1965 to move the humongous Saturn V rocket from Kennedy's Vehicle Assembly Building to Launch Complex 39, the crawler's been busy moving space shuttles to their launch pads since. This isn't just some relic from the past, however, as the Crawler Transporter 2 will be an integral part of the Artemis program, which looks to send the first woman and the next man back to the moon. Number 12. Kueg Auto Liners Moving a car across the ocean was once unheard of. Now, we have auto liners in operation which can transport 6,900 standard car units in one trip. To achieve such an incredible feat, you'll obviously need to have a machine large enough. In comes Hueg's new PCTC, which can cover an area of 60,000 square meters, or in other words, more than 10 football pitches. 
Who Egg Auto Liners are familiar with such operations, as their machines load about 1.5 million car units each year across more than 3,000 port calls. To say they know what they're doing in the load-on, load-off car business would be a huge understatement. Who Egg Auto Liners were even a pioneer in the car transportation industry way back in the 60s. Top quality services and a long and reliable history, Who Egg Auto Liners is the company for you if you want to specific car shipped to the other side of the world, meaning you can have any kind of car no matter where you are. Number 11. Transporting Nuclear Waste Radioactive waste needs to get disposed of somehow, and someone has to transport it, no matter how dangerous being exposed to such radiation can be. There's a nuclear fuel cask up here, comes from West Valley. But if you're given the task of moving such a volatile item, the last thing you want to do is accidentally spill it. So you hire some trusty pair of hands who know a thing or two about transporting radioactive waste. Obviously, such a dangerous substance requires a strong and sturdy container. The last thing you would want to happen is to have some bystanders transformed into mutants right before your eyes. Made of high-strength steel, the precious load is carried on dozens of tires to help spread out the load more. How many tires exactly? Well, sometimes around 192, depending on the size of the shipment. Now, you can't exactly just build your own highway to move such an item, no matter how dangerous it is. So a carefully carved out route is made, and the trip is usually taken at night when the roads are the clearest. It might seem like a lot of precautions, but when you consider the danger the radioactive substance could dish out, it is definitely warranted. The waste is dumped into the ground at the end of its journey, which surely isn't great for the Earth anyway. Better for it to be buried in the ground than spilt all over the road's surface, I guess. Number 10. Antonov-124 when the larger things in life need to be transported, such as military vehicles, boats, or satellites, what do you use? Well, a plane, of course. The Antonov-124, made at Kiev in Ukraine and Ulyanovsk in Russia, is the incredible aircraft perfect for transporting this heavy cargo. With 24 wheels, a wingspan of 73 meters, and a 35,300 cubic foot hold, this is certainly an epic mode of transport. Brought to life in 1986, only 52 of these beasts were produced. While this might appear to have only been used for very serious and professional tasks, the the aircraft was also tasked with bringing Christmas home when the largest Christmas tree in the world was brought to New York. The Grinch must have been absolutely raging when he heard the news. Car fans would be interested to hear that the Antonov-124 was also used to transport the cars for the Paris-Dakar race. It seems there's no task too big for this plane-shaped delivery system. At least there's no chance of losing your post in the mail when you have a whole aircraft carrying your satellite so it arrives on time. Number 9. JJ the Grey Whale Orphan when a severely dehydrated gray whale washed up on shore in January 1997, it appeared as if the magnificent beast was knocking on heaven's door. JJ the gray whale was only a few days old, but when researchers brought her to SeaWorld for an assessment, the prognosis wasn't good. With JJ being so weak that they had to hold her upright and swim her around by hand, it seemed like all hope was lost. But the people at SeaWorld refused to give up on JJ and quickly put her on a specially formulated diet of fish, cream, and vitamins. The crew even played whale songs into her pool to get it familiar with hearing her species sounds. After 13 months of around-the-clock care, JJ ballooned from 1,500 pounds to 17,000 pounds in just over a year. It was now time to transport her back to the ocean to join an incoming pod of whales who were headed north towards colder waters. Lifts, trucks, tracking gear, and plenty of planning all came together to get this gigantic creature from SeaWorld to the actual sea. The transport operation was a success. However, after just a few days, JJ scraped off her tracking equipment, so her future remains unclear. Number 8. Bullwinkle 
Way out in the heart of the Gulf of Mexico lies an oil platform you should really get to know. Created in 1988, this massive platform held the record for the tallest structure ever built at the time. That title has been well deserved as the whole structure is an astounding 529 meters tall. To put that into perspective, that is 500 feet taller than the Empire State Building in New York. Such a gigantic piece of mechanical wonder understandably took quite a while to put together. How long exactly? Five whole years. That might seem like a lot of time, but I don't think you can rush a structure which used 10 times more steel than the Eiffel Tower to bring it to life. When the Bullwinkle oil platform reached its time to be brought out into the ocean, it was no small operation. The whole process took three and a half days to pull the structure via tugboats to its desired location where the precious oil waited below. Being so far out at sea meant that the structure had to be able to hold its own against hurricanes and 70-foot waves. All of this reinforcement and transportation cost a pretty penny, as you can imagine. 50 million pounds is the price tag slapped on this whole operation. Which might sound like a lot until you realize 59,000 barrels of oil are pumped out of the ground every single day. But let's just hope for the investor's sake that the oil doesn't dry up anytime soon. Number 7. Elephants The transportation of animals can be a hairy affair. Accidentally enraging or panicking an animal can lead to disastrous results. Animals are transported for various reasons, such as the movement of livestock for sale or slaughter, or specimens used for research, racehorses, or even just someone's beloved pet. The bigger the animal, the more precarious the situation. Out of all of the animals to transport, the movement of elephants has to be up there with the most difficult. Elephants may be needed to be moved as they are part of a circus, or they might need to be moved to a different zoo. This practice has been taking place for years, with war elephants being being transported from their native countries to battlefields throughout the ancient world. For example, Ptolemy II Philadelphus had special crafts custom made just for these tusked passengers in the 3rd century BCE. Moving an elephant can be just as dangerous for the elephant as it is for those doing the moving. If an elephant were to go into a panic, they may have to be euthanized. When you consider the endangered nature of elephants, this is the last thing you would want to happen. Number 6. Transporting the Statue of Liberty There aren't many more iconic sculptures than the Statue of Liberty which arrived at New York on the 17th of June 1885. While we know and take pictures of the famous construction today as it reaches into the sky, the statue actually arrived at New York City disassembled and in 210 separate crates. It would remain fractured for 10 months while the enormous pedestal was constructed. This strategy was obviously to make the journey over from France a lot easier to handle, but how dramatic would it be if it had arrived already assembled and standing up straight towering over the clouds? Those at the docks would think a giant was invading. The French agreed to cover the costs of the statue's construction just so long as the Americans sorted out the pedestal for the huge statue to stand on. The statue was created to mark the end of the Civil War and the abolition of slavery, with the French sculptor Frédéric Auguste Bartholdi being inspired after he claimed to have been influenced by a conversation with the president of the French Anti-Slavery Society to construct a statue commemorating the Union's victory in the American. American Civil War. Number 5. Prelude FLNG You might not have heard of the Prelude FLNG, but it's a pretty big deal in the natural gas extraction world. The Prelude FLNG is the world's largest floating liquefied natural gas platform in the world. But on top of that, it's also the largest offshore facility ever constructed. Built by Technip slash Samsung Consortium in South Korea in a joint venture between Royal Dutch Shell, Kogus, and Inpex, this huge platform produces natural gas off the warm coast of sunny Australia. Its reach is growing year on year, with 2019 being a milestone year in the company's history, with the first liquefied natural gas cargo being shipped to customers in Asia. There's plenty of natural gas to go around, apparently, seeing as the Prelude and Concerto fields are expected to produce an eye-watering 5.3 million tons of liquid and condensate per year. 
in what must be an environmentalist's worst nightmare. This figure includes 3.6 million tons of liquefied natural gas, 1.3 million tons of condensate, and 400,000 tons of liquefied petroleum gas. Now that is a lot of gas. Let's just hope they don't leave any candles unattended. Number 4. Bagger 280A the Bagger 288 excavating machine is one of the wildest pieces of machinery I've ever seen. The $100 million machine was built by the German company Krupp for the energy and mining firm Rheinbraun, and it is devastatingly effective. The Bagger 288 is big, and I mean really damn big. When it was finally completed in 1978, the Titan became the largest land vehicle in the world, taking the coveted top spot from NASA's crawler transporter, which was used to carry the space shuttle and Apollo Saturn V launch vehicle. With a height of 311 feet and a length of 705 feet and a weight of 45,500 tons. This is quite the statement piece. With such size and power comes a devastatingly efficient mining machine. Its giant size means that it can excavate 240,000 tons of coal every single day. To put that into perspective, that is the equivalent of a soccer field being dug 30 meters deep with enough coal to fill 2,400 coal wagons every day. Operating this beast isn't crazily difficult either, with only five workers needed to operate it. It truly looks like something the Underminer from the Incredibles movie franchise would own. Number 3. Self-Propelled Modular Transporter SPMT. I guess they do say teamwork makes the dream work. That can certainly apply to the clever technological device of the Mammoth self-propelled modular transporter. Through using individual platforms with dozens of wheels attached, they can be bound together to carry almost any object of any weight. There really is nothing that is too big for this self-propelled modular transporter, and it is incredibly easy to operate. All of the commands stem from a simple control pad that is operated by one worker who uses two joysticks to control all of the vehicle's wheels at once, meaning there's no need for too many hands to get involved and complicate matters. When moving a load such as a humongous container for the 500-ton gas tank 15 miles in Malaysia, for example, maneuverability is key to a smooth operation. Thankfully, the Mammoth self-propelled modular transporter's wheels are able to move in any direction, which even includes spinning in a circle. What a clever and effective piece of tech. Number 2. Dubai's Palm Island Dubai in the United Arab Emirates is one of the wealthiest cities in the world, with it being the dream holiday destination for many. The place's wealth is seen no clearer than when you look at Dubai's Palm Islands. The $12 billion man-made islands are truly remarkable pieces of construction. But how do you go about making a palm-shaped island out of thin air? Through scooping up sand and rocks from the sea's floor and spraying it into carefully calculated positions, the uniquely shaped island is slowly brought to life grain by grain. The ships used can suck up to 8,000 tons of sand in less than an hour and then spray it in a technique known as rainbowing, with enough sand to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool in four minutes. The palm design is carved out and monitored using the only private satellite in the world, which helps in giving aerial images of the progress on the project. The tricky shape is hard to keep to, especially when you consider only two lines in the palm-shaped design are straight. With luxury houses owned by the likes of David Beckham on the island, the project more than paid off, with 7 million tons of rock being transported in the process. Number 1. Troll Platform with a height of 1,548 feet and a weight of 1 million tons, this structure is one of the largest to have ever been moved across the face of the planet. The Troll A production platform is the name of the large structure, which is 134 feet higher than New York's Empire State Building with its television tower. But what is it? The Troll A platform is a con-deep, gravity-based structure offshore natural gas platform located off the west coast of Norway. 
The successful move, which had plenty of media interest, involved 10 tugs to tow the $1.14 billion platform. One false move, and it could lead to devastating results. The move of the platform into the North Sea in 1996 goes down in history as being the tallest structure ever moved to another position on Earth. Its size obviously made the transport operations a real headache to execute, but it also meant that the move also went down in history as one of the most complex engineering projects in history. The 200-meter tow cost a whopping $650 million at the time. I can't imagine they'll be in a hurry to move it again. The transport operations are mind-boggling. It seems as if there's nothing too big or too bizarre to be moved. What operation shocked you the most? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.